One thing I absolutely love is a cheesy chicken cheesesteak. Hey guys, it's Blackstone Betty. Whether it is shaved or chipped chicken for cheesesteaks, which is traditional around here, or chunks of juicy tender chicken, so long as it's on a good roll, I am happy as can be. But in this recipe video, I am gonna show you my Italian style chicken cheesesteaks loaded with a garlicky fresh bruschetta or bruschetta, that's how I say it. It's so simple, so incredibly easy. So let's jump right into this. I am so excited for you guys to try this and serve it up family style to all of your friends and family. This recipe could not be any easier. It is perfect to serve up family style and it's inexpensive. It's an easy way to feed a crowd, which you guys know I am always having to do. So let's start this off with some chicken breast. I'm leaving the fat on these. I want that fat because it's gonna add not only flavor, but help to make this nice and juicy. We're gonna give these chicken breasts a nice small dice. You could go chunkier if you want, if you wanna do larger pieces, but I find the smaller the better, especially since traditionally here we would use chipped chicken or shaved chicken. Once that's all done, let's add it to a bowl and season it up with a little bit of salt and some black pepper. And I'm gonna use the Cento Italian seasoning blend. I love any kind of good Italian seasoning blend when it comes to so many different dishes on the Blackstone. If you can't find one, make your own. Just use things like thyme and rosemary, a little crushed red pepper. There are so many things in this seasoning that just take this sandwich over the top. And I also have one of my favorite brands, Cento olive oil. I'm gonna use regular olive oil for this, drizzle just enough to coat this chicken and give it a nice mix to incorporate all those flavors on every single bite of chicken. We'll let this marinate in the refrigerator. You can also do this ahead of time, do it the night before or in the morning morning to save yourself some time, especially when you have a large crowd to feed. I love any shortcut I can take, so this usually goes in the night before. We're gonna start on our bruschetta. An easy bruschetta starts with a very good fresh tomato and a good quality extra virgin olive oil, so I'm going again with cento. We'll simply dice up our tomatoes nice and small and put them into a bowl. To those tomatoes, we're gonna add in some finely diced purple onion and I'm sticking with it. It's purple, don't listen to the boys. It's not a red onion, it's a purple onion. Next up, we have some fresh basil. We're just gonna rip off these leaves and pile them up, roll them up like a cigar, and then we're gonna give them a quick slice. This is a chiffonade or ribbon of basil. It's gonna look beautiful throughout our bruschetta. Before we add that to our bowl, we're gonna season up our tomatoes with some salt. I have coarse salt and some black pepper. Tomatoes absolutely love salt. Let's throw that basil in there. Next, I'm gonna add in some capers. I love using capers for that extra bite of vinegar and salt. Season everything up with a little bit more of that Cento Italian blend. Now most importantly is our garlic. You want to be sure to use fresh garlic. Stay away from that jar of garlic. You do not want that anywhere near your tomatoes, I promise you. We'll smash these garlic cloves and then give them a nice fine chop. Add those into our tomatoes. Drizzle on extra virgin olive oil. Give it a quick mix. And last but not least, let's finish it off with a dusting of Locatelli Pecorino Romano cheese. I always have pieces of Locatelli in my cheese drawer. I cannot get enough of this cheese. It is so delicious. I hope you guys are able to find the brand Locatelli. If not, look for a good brand uh, wedge of Pecorino Romano cheese. Give it a mix. You want to make sure, as I mentioned, the chicken can be done the night before or in the morning and stuck in the refrigerator. I would not suggest making your bruschetta ahead of time. The one thing that tomatoes do not like is the refrigerator. One of the biggest mistakes people make when making a fresh bruschetta 
You can make it an hour ahead of time, but I would not make it any sooner than that. If you do want to make it an hour ahead of time, I like to stick some saran wrap over the top of my bowl of bruschetta and then place that bowl on top of another bowl that either has an icy, an ice pack, or some ice cubes to help keep it cool on the kitchen counter, but don't stick that fresh beautiful tasty bruschetta in the refrigerator tomatoes do not want to go into the refrigerator ever we have all of our ingredients ready to go let's preheat our blackstone and jump over to one of the most important things about any kind of cheesesteak it's the rolls. Now I'm using Lissio rolls. This is one thing I love about living where I live. We do have some of the most amazing Italian rolls available here. If you are looking for the perfect Italian roll for your cheesesteak, try to hit up your local bakery or wherever it is that you can get some fresh Italian lunch meat. They should always have some nice bakery rolls. They're nice and soft and chewy and just perfect. We'll get them ready by slicing them up. Once they're done, let's drop down our chicken onto our hot black zone and let it begin to cook. This is a very quick, fast cook. Chicken breasts do not need long at all. So we'll just let this cook on one side, giving it a mix or two until it is cooked through. And then we're gonna add on some cheese. I have some provolone cheese and some pre-shredded mozzarella cheese. I know I yell all the time about shredding your own cheese, but when I am cooking family style, I will cheat and buy a large bag of mozzarella cheese just to make my life a little bit easier. Always go for a good brand like the Galbani. It is perfect for melting into these cheese steaks. So we'll give a good handful over our meat, mix it through the cheese steak meat, and then we're gonna use our spatula to line up our chicken, our cheesy chicken, into rows. That way we have every sandwich ready to go. Once they're lined up, we're gonna place some provolone cheese slices on top, and then our rolls go right on top of that. This way, all that steam around these chicken cheese steaks are gonna help to warm up our buns slightly, but we do not want to toast them. We don't wanna change the texture of this beautiful, soft, chewy Italian roll. After 30 seconds to 60 seconds, we're ready to slide that spatula underneath our cheesesteak using our other hand to secure that roll onto the meat and give it a flip. And that is just cheesy heaven right there. We'll plate these up on our family style board, load them up with that fresh garlicky bruschetta, and give them a little extra love or zhuzh them up with some more of that locatelli cheese. You could zhuzh these up and take them a step further like I showed you when I made these on a live cook on the Blackstone Products Facebook page, which if you're not on, be sure to go like and follow. You saw me drizzle some nice balsamic glaze over the top of these, which will just send you into a food coma. These are going to make your friends and family so dang happy. I cannot wait for you guys to make them. I hope that you enjoy them just as much as me and my family do. When you do make these and serve them up family style, be sure to post a picture and tag Blackstone products. Don't forget to tag Blackstone Betty too so I can personally see and share your pictures of my recipes, you guys enjoying them. And while you're on your phone or computer, don't forget to stop by the Blackstone Products Teespring store where you can pick up a family style with Blackstone Betty hoodie to keep you warm this winter while you're making these chicken cheesesteaks with your family and friends. Or you can pick up one of the boys' hoodies or t-shirts, which you should get mine instead. Until next time, I'm Blackstone Betty and I cannot wait to see you guys enjoying these just as much as I do. They're so good flies. There's flies every freaking where. And cars and flies and cars. <sighs> I cannot wait. A fly just went right freaking past. <laughs> and then stick this book.